Sacramento police speaking out today about their search for the person who pistol whipped and robbed a Chondo's restaurant worker. It happened Monday night during closing time at their location on Arden Way. Your reporter covering Sacramento County, Tori Apodaca, joining us now live, getting answers on what police know and the message they're sending to that suspect, Tori. Definitely a strong message, Marley. The Sacramento Police Department called a press conference today, calling on that suspect to turn himself in. This came after two armed robberies at separate taco shops in North Sacramento just last night. Investigators, though, are still looking into if any of these are connected. But back to what happened here at Chondo's on Monday night. We're about to show you that surveillance video that might be hard to watch. Go ahead, though, and take a good look at this suspect that police are on the hunt for. You can see the armed suspect pistol whips a Chondo's employee in the head as he demands the cash. He's wearing a black hoodie, glasses, and wearing blue gloves. Police could not give any further description on the suspect, but they want everyone to take a good look at him. Take a listen to the strong message police and the owner here have for him. Coward used a firearm and struck a female employee twice in the head. And so to the person that did this, I hope you're watching and I hope you do the right thing and turn yourself in. Uh, if you don't, just understand that our detectives are relentless. We have some of the best detectives in this country and they're going to be working around the clock to get you identified and to bring you to justice. I feel pretty confident that at least, you know, he's going to be hiding you know, or leave Sacramento and go to a hole somewhere. And most of my employees are, are my family, right? You know, the two most important assets I have are my employees and my customers. And I want to make sure that they're safe. Now here's a map showing the three taco shops that were hit by armed robberies, one on East Commerce and New Market at around 8.45 p.m. Tuesday, and a pop-up taco stand on the 3800 block of Northgate Boulevard around 9.05 p.m. It's unclear if any of the employees were assaulted, but police are on the hunt for suspects and looking into if these are all connected. And the owner here at Chondo says that that employee who was hit in the head by that gunman and had a hand over that cash is at home recovering both physically and emotionally, as you can imagine. But he is really hopeful that someone is going to recognize that man in that surveillance video or for him to just come forward and turn himself in. And Tori, step us through the safety changes that they put in place after this attack. Yeah, the owner's right-hand man actually stuck around all the way through closing last night just to make sure everyone felt comfortable. And the entire team was strategizing yesterday and still today into what changes they could make, such as adding better lighting around the shop or even hiring private security. But the owner, though, really wants to just reiterate his uh, thankfulness to the community. You can see the people behind me getting tacos right now saying that he has really appreciated all of the support and he's hopeful that someone is going to recognize Organize that guy and catch him. Yeah, glad they're keeping that business going, local business, mm -hmm. and we also hope that somewhere we get that suspect. Behind bars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you, Tori.